Yoga listeners, so um, we have with us a very, very charming writer who's made his debut, and um, his book is right now does does have a lot of rave reviews going on. It's it's like you know how you enter this country and all the embarrassing moments that you go through, funny moments you go through. There are a lot of cool, uh, cute situations that you're put in. Um, all this is kind of uh, put in a capsule and it is presented as a beautiful book called Ketchup and Curry. Yes, it's a very very intriguing title, and we have with us the very very uh, talented and um, very enterprising. And um, and and a person who's very very vocal about his thoughts. Nobody has done this before, and so he um, is kind of making uh, his his debut book kind of is a self help book, as he would uh, mention, and it also is very very entertaining. So uh, listeners, please welcome the very very talented Vivek Shridhar. Hello, Vivek. How are you doing? Hello, Anu. I'm good. Thank you. I really appreciate the opportunity. Thank you to all the followers. Uh, and uh, yeah. So Vivek. Your debut as a writer. How do you feel? <laughs> I'm very excited. Very excited. I'm glad I uh, wrote all my thoughts down, and uh, you know, it started as a blog, and uh, and I started writing down different things of uh, the experiences that I went through when I came here uh, from India to mm-hmm. the USA. I'm from Chennai, mm-hmm. and when I came here, I was alone. I, I was the only child. I had uh, no family, had nobody to count on. So I came here, and I had a lot of uh, you know uh, stumbling blocks. I had to always go and ask friends or ask neighbors or always try, you know, it was, it was always struggling to find out or understand where do I belong in America. So it's actually, it's actually good to be alone, right? So newfound freedom. Just yes, kidding. it is, you know, for actually being sure, you know, obviously in India, you're always, you know, I grew up uh, living, in, you know, with my parents uh, most of the, uh, the entire childhood, and then I come here, it's uh, full-fledged freedom. Mm-hmm. But after the first few months, it's, uh, you know, homesickness, and who do you, you know, who do you trust, who do you live with? Right. And uh, how do you build your own uh, network of friends and your community in America? And how do you become successful? Right. And right. those were the things that inspired me to write the book. And I thought these experiences should be captured or it all sh- this information should be in one place. Mm-hmm. So the book Ketchup and Curry has uh, all uh, an Indian's experience with, with a character called uh, Subramaniam Venkatraman Arthasarathy Subbu. When he comes to the U.S., what does he go through, what are the challenges, the struggles, and then how does he find himself, and then how does he, uh, you know, become successful while adapting to the culture, and then he ends up uh, going to date an American girl, and then also struggles between, uh, you know, his, uh, you know, how, you know, where his uh, heart lies between America or in India. All right, so, so Vivek, tell me, I mean, I mean um, this hot, sweet, spicy journey of yours mm-hmm. and of a lot of other people, right? Thousands of people out here would also feel the same. Um, very, very intriguing title as Ketchup and Curry. So mm-hmm. um, so tell us a little bit about your, you know, how did you manage to come up with such a brilliant title, which kind of really blends between the two cultures and just, and, and then food is kind of, you know, the reference to food, etc. So tell yeah. us a little bit about your, your, your catchy title. So ketchup and curry, I know the title itself. Uh, curry, when I only when I came to America did I realize everybody in America associates curry to being Indian, <laughs> and I found out that everybody in the world outside India relates to curry as something Indian. Right. So that was one of the first uh, re- you know uh, references that I thought I should be using, and then uh, ketchup. Again, uh, when I came here, I used to you know I wasn't a good cook. So most of the times I used to be out at McDonald's, Burger King, and uh, just at fast food restaurants. Mm-hmm. And the only condiment that I was familiar with at that point was ketchup. And then I found out there was ranch and other dressings available. But then mm-hmm. ketchup, in India, people realize, again, you know, like we have a lot of uh, Maggie hot sauce, or a lot of different types of ketchup. So I thought ketchup and curry as a title does uh, captivate both the Indian and American uh, uh, culture along with uh, the overall, you know, representation of both these different different uh, cultures and different countries. And I really, really hope you go the Chetan Bhagat way because, you know, of two states, etc. <laughs> uh-huh. I know, really hope would, it yeah. gets into being a film, you know, that'll, that'll you be know, really cool. Uh, that would be a, a great opportunity. I'm uh, very open to, uh, <laughs> you know, opportunities and uh, hopefully our listeners who are writers and directors uh, out producers, producers. Out you need the producers first <laughs> yeah, you know what, right, uh, so the producers I, I think might be the first target followed by directors <laughs> so so Vivek uh, uh, give, give me a couple of highlights um, in the in the book so uh, can you can you can you kind of easily um, relate to a couple of I know there are lots but yeah, then a couple I of I can instances. tell you a couple of things yeah. so for the first thing is uh, greeting people 
Okay. So in India, you know, you, we are always, it's a very Indian, it's a very socialistic community, meaning we all talk to our neighbors, our friends, family, they're always, we're always mingling with a lot of different people. And how do you assess elders in India? We call them auntie, uncle, for anyone, whether we know them or not. Compared to coming in the U.S., you see that everybody has to be, you know, I went to a dinner and then I found out I called my American uh, friend's uh, parents. Oh, hello, uh, hello, uncle, hello, auntie. And they were like, what? And un until then, I did not know that, you know, you, they have to be addressed as Mr. and Mrs. something. And right. that was the first challenge. Uh, the other thing is that learning the accent. You know, obviously, in India, we have uh, British uh, English. So a lot of terms are very different, like status, status, uh, schedule, schedule. Mm -hmm. uh, and then one of the other examples, one of our viewers uh, submitted as a video was uh, a book rack versus a bookshelf. Mm -hmm. What is, you know, how it could be differently uh, misinterpreted. Uh, and then the other thing was like power distance, meaning in India, if there's somebody older to you or like say you're working at a workplace, uh, someone might be a director or a president of the company. When they come in, you have to show respect in action. You have to stand up. You have to say, hello, sir. Hello, madam. Or you have to, you know, the overall... Right way of showing respect is very different compared to America. You could still sit down and just have a normal conversation, address them by a first name. Mm -hmm. And these are things that, you know, there's no bias in America. And this is something very new to me because growing up in India, there's a lot of bias amid, uh, you know, social status and different culturally where, uh, you know, we have a lot of bias. And the last thing is that uh, the funny thing is uh, time orientation, which is, uh, you know, Indians are very popularly uh, known for ISD. Tell me about Indian it. Standard Time. <laughs> and everything is like, if you've noticed, you know, we talk to our family and we're always like, one second, one second, one second, or one minute. And, you know, a lot of times we don't understand the significance behind, you know, uh, respecting the time. Right. Versus Americans value their time and they respect, you know, Indians or other immigrants or anybody else to do the same. Mm -hmm. And I realized that at a workplace or at an event when somebody says 7 p.m., I, you know, you cannot say, oh, it was, it was very, you know, it was crowded, it was a lot of traffic, I was, I came late. Mm -hmm. So there's not, they do not accept that as an excuse. Versus in India, a 7 p.m. dinner reservation is people showing up at 8 o'clock and it's acceptable. Right, right. That's great. So, so Vivek, I'm sure there are a lot of funny instances as well as some serious moments in the book. I, I'm sure it's, it's for everyone. So, um, so tell me, where, where exactly do, do we get the book? Uh, could you tell us where, which store it's available in and where it is? So that yeah. uh, So in the U.S., it is available on Amazon.com. And uh, for all the Indian listeners, it's only uh, currently Amazon's running a promotion. It's $8 and maybe $0.26. Cents. So it's mm -hmm. very cheap. Please make sure to grab a copy. In India, it's available on uh, Flipkart, Amazon.in, uh, Book Ada, Notion Press, and then retail stores as well. And uh, I have a website created for this, you know, for marketing the book mm -hmm. along with uh, making sure all the information for India is in one place. It's called ketchupandcurry.com. Mm -hmm. You could purchase the book on the website as well. And also, you know, make sure to follow us on Facebook.com slash ketchupandcurry where we're posting a lot of funny videos and funny experiences of different Indians who are who have come to America and have actually struggled and found uh, you know their identities in the U.S. So it's actually a very funny take on what were their experiences and what how they failed and what they learned and that would help somebody who is looking to come abroad or looking to move to America or who is already in America and they're still sheltered within their Indian community and they're ha they're struggling to interact at a workplace, they're struggling to make American friends, they're struggling to interact with uh, different ethnicities or different cultures, and we hope that, you know, the book actually gives them the chance or the opportunity to bring them out of the shell to actually understand what, you know, the differences are between Indian culture and American culture, and how do we bridge the gap between these differences, and how do, as an Indian, how do we become successful in America? That's a great point. So um, thank you uh, so much, Vivek. And um, I'm, I'm sure the listeners have got the website right. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's dev -dev -dev dot ketchup and curry dot com, yeah. And it is also available on Amazon uh, for, uh, for grabs. And it's, it's for $8.26. And uh, you can also get into, your, uh, into uh, Vivek's uh, Facebook um, page, which is uh, facebook.com slash ketchup and curry. And I've seen a lot of uh, funny instances have been posted. And um, it's a great book. It's a great read. And I think anyone and everyone who is here in this country, as well as who is um, aspiring to come here, can just, uh, you know, can just relate to it. So I think it's an amazing uh, book which would kind of provide
provide direction as well as entertainment. So, so thank you so much, Vivek, for taking the time and uh, providing your insight about the book. And congratulations on such a great, remarkable debut. And I hope we can get uh, to see more of your works. And uh, thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you once again. And thank you to all the followers of the radio show. Make sure to support a fellow Indian who is... Uh, uh, you know, made it in America. So make sure to buy the book, uh, Ketchup and Curry. Thank you. Thank you, Vivek. Take care. All right. So that was uh, Vivek Sridhar, and uh, that's his book, Ketchup and Curry, his uh, debut work. So hopefully each and every one of you would uh, be able to purchase the book and, uh, and read it. He is from uh, the city of Troy. So um, hopefully we get to uh, learn a little bit more about uh, what's going on in terms of our immediate environment. As we move on, the next 